Section 10 of The Sins of Hollywood by Ed Roberts. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Making Sodom Look Sick. Measured by the pace set at some movie star parties, there must have been a lot of weak and sterile minds in ancient Sodom and Babylon rome and pompeii either that or the historians have been holding out on us have not told us all there is to tell possibly there was a limit beyond which even a pagan emperor dared not go it may be that the truth was not so easily suppressed in those days uh, there was no phalanx of press agents in the armies of the ancients. There was no million-dollar advertising appropriations to help still the journalistic conscience. No 16-page displays such as ran recently for ten consecutive days in a certain Western daily. In the light of revealed history, it is certain, whatever may have been the cause, that ancient degradation had to exercise a certain amount of prudence. There were no modern safeguards such as surround the kings and queens of moviedom, no ramifications of interests to suppress the truth at every step. Moviedom's imagination had free play, unfettered, unrestrained. It made the scarlet sins of Sodom and Babylon, of Rome and Pompeii, fade into a pale, pale yellow. Not so long ago, a certain popular young actress returned from a trip. She had been away for ten days. Her friends felt that there ought to be a special welcome awaiting her. Rostrand a famous comedian, decided to stage another of his unusual affairs. He rented ten rooms on the top floor of a large exclusive hotel, and only guests who had the proper invitations were admitted. After all of the guests, male and female, were seated, a female dog was led into the middle of the largest room. Then... A male dog was brought in. A dignified man in clerical garb stepped forward and with all due solemnity performed a marriage ceremony for the dogs. It was a decided hit. The guests laughed and applauded heartily and the comedian was called a genius, which fact pleased him immensely. But the best was yet to come. The dogs were unleashed. There, before the assembled and unblushing young girls and their male escorts, was enacted an unspeakable scene. Even truth cannot justify the publication of such details. Another recent party was that given by Count Blank a prince of a fellow, at his palatial mansion. Nearly two hundred guests were present. A jazz orchestra furnished sensuous music. The guests, women and men, disrobed. Then a new dance was staged, which lasted until morning. Some of the guests were outraged, they departed. Others remained and took part in the orgy which did not stop with mere dancing for some of them. But these nude parties were common. There is another comedian of no mean ability, whose home for several months has been the meeting place of these nude dancers. Recently a raid on the home of this comedian was scheduled but he was tipped off in time to be acting perfectly decorous when the officers arrived. The neighbors, however, knew better. 
a type of citizen well known in certain quarters handsome young well-proportioned men who work as extras in the pictures is the paid escort or kept man deplorable as it may seem these beings have found patrons as far north as the exclusive precincts of del monte montecito pasadena san diego are familiar to them women of a certain sort used to have the telephone number of the establishment where these men held forth and many calls came to them every day and night pay for their company ran high only the few could afford it recent events suggested that it might be best to close this establishment but the former club members still hover about plying their profession end of section 10